Hey guys, welcome to the house of Valentina. Come on in out of the rain. We've got a fall tour to show you. Come on. Hey guys, welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and my husband Jack is hanging out with us today because we are doing our fall living room tour and I'm so excited because we've been working hard at this for a few weeks and we cannot wait to share all the details with you about how we've created this really amazing fall-like space and share all of our secrets with you on how we've created something that we just really love. So um, before we jump in too far into that, make sure if you have not hit subscribe, that you go ahead and hit subscribe. If this is your first time visiting House of Valentina, we love to talk about adventure and travel and how to bring all of that home and to really create a space that represents who you are and your amazing life. And so yeah, if that's your thing, make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and let's jump in. So this week, the client is us. So we got to work on ourselves a little bit and work on our own home. So we thought it'd be really fun to share with you the process and how we process through our own design process. And this week, we were the clients, so we got to chat through what we really wanted out of this space. So, so she asked me my input and at first I was like, ah, I don't know, whatever looks cool, I don't know. Um, yeah, but then man. when she, it was a <laughs> Thank typical <you>. man response, <laughs> about five helpful. words. Actually, yeah. it's usually three words, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but when we got down to it, I remember back to living in Denmark in Copenhagen and I loved going out in the autumn. I loved going on long walks in the, in the forest and it was like, there was like, uh, like wet leaves and um, it's like this dampness in the air and, and the moss and yeah. it was organic and it smelled cool and it felt cool on your skin and I wanted something that captured that yeah and I on the other hand wanted something that was a little bit spicier I wanted leather and leopard and <laughs> a little bit of velvet and some concrete to kind of like give it a little bit of grit and yeah so what I did was I created a mood board just as I always do So as I created the mood board, I took all of those things into consideration, the, the essence that we wanted to really capture in the space, and I, I created a mood board with those images. Then after that, I started breaking it down to the items that we'd actually include in the space, and of course, that's the part that I know you guys are eager to get to, so let's give them a tour, shall we? Yeah. yeah come on, guys. <laughs> like to break down our spaces and create different zones so we can really focus our energy on specific areas and for us zone number one is our fireplace wall which of course will not surprise you that this is our wow moment So many of you guys write us asking us for these paint colors because you love it too. You love the drama that it adds. And we do have a little bit of a thing to say about this because it's been a little, a little bit of a drama. Um, yeah, so um, we painted it. Again. <laughs> But say why we painted it. Yes, so, okay, it's a long story and I'm gonna keep it really short, okay? I painted it halfway up, because I'm short and I didn't have a tall, ta uh, a tall ladder. And then my painter came and he painted the other half, except he did it with a different brand. So there's been a line down the middle, which is why I've been very strategic about showing you guys portions of this room and not <laughs> the whole room. It because, was awkward. Yeah, I mean, some of my neighbors are like, oh, we just thought it was like the light. I was like, that's sweet, but no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> so while the painters were here working on the basement, I asked them if they could please come up here and give this little puppy a fresh coat and give us the wow moment that I can look at from ground all the way up and have my moment. <laughs> Okay, before we forget, the color is Midnight Oil by Benjamin Moore. And we've been a little bit sneaky. We painted the mantle, we painted all the surround, we painted the whole shebang in the same color. This is a matte finish. And oh my gosh, does it ever give us the wow moment that we have been craving. Now I will say, I, I've been hemming and hawing about whether we would put a mirror here. I want a mirror. He wants the artwork. The kids want a TV. 
Nothing is going up here until this paint finishes curing because we tried to put something on it and it had that sticky, like tacky sound to it. So not like, a good time. No, we're, we're, we're gonna just leave it minimalistic for at least the next few weeks until we for sure decide what until we Until Christmas. Yes. There's gonna be some amazing stuff on here for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's show you zone number two right over this way. our seating area. So when we looked at this space, we were looking really for two different things. There was the function of it, like what is the space, what does it need to do for us, and how does it fit within the greater context of this large room, and then second was the definitely the design and the form of it. I like teaching you. Aww. I'm learning. <laughs> He's so right. So what we've done is we wanted it to first of all function. We want the room to be about the fireplace. It's fall. It's all about cozy and that fire in the fireplace. And so what we did is we anchored the room first of all with the rug down the center, and then we arranged the furniture to be facing towards that fireplace. And then we started adding on all those design elements. This is when referring back to your mood board is the most important when you start doing all the finishing touches. Um, I, I can't, I'm like, oh, I'm standing right next to this. I gotta show you. Okay, so let me show you everything we've done in here. It's so good. <laughs> you don't get this excited about a pillow? I'll leave you alone with the pillows. <laughs> I'll be back later. I'm telling you guys, look at this. Oh my gosh. I do love this pillow. This is a leather pillow. People, did you know that leather pillows existed? Oh my gosh. Okay, here, come it's down the here. first ever sexy up. pillow. Like they don't yes. exist until now. <laughs> I actually really do get this excited over all the finishing touches. I mean, oh my gosh, look at this beautiful leather pillow. So it is possible to bring in leather in multiple ways. We've got the gorgeous sofa behind us, which is always your favorite piece. Yes, I, yeah. So I love how you brought in the other elements here because we've got all these like fun things to touch. So there's iron, which is <laughs> really cool. There's this thing, which is glass, and I literally am fighting the urge to flip it over Just right now. Just flip it over. Thank you. <laughs> I have to do that like every few moments. I can always tell when Jack's been in the room because that's always turned I know, over. I love it. <laughs> but we also did our signature set. That's one of my favorite things to include in every single space. And it smells just like fall shit. It smells so good. We actually took a long time to discuss what set we wanted in the room. Like we're just weird like that. But we think it's really important because it really adds to the vibe of the space. It's something that you can't see maybe on camera, but the room feels so cozy and it smells so good right now that it's really important. So we looked long and hard and we picked out this, what was it called? Cedar, cedar wood and moss? Cedar wood and moss. Yeah. 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 And of course they very politely put it in a black container for me. Wasn't yeah. that nice of them? But there's also <laughs> concrete on this table. There's like all these, there's everything here that, that I, this is my favorite part. Yeah, you've got to show them that the blanket made it. <laughs> the teddy bear blanket made it to the, oh, yes. to the sofa. Oh. Cute teddy bear blanket. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this thing so much. <laughs> it's just she used so to hold good. me like that. Now I have the blanket yeah. and my pumpkin spice latte. And um, yeah, you guys can just finish the tour. I'm gonna hang out here. <laughs> One of the other things I love about this space is it just feels, it just feels like fall. In Copenhagen, a lot of times when it's cooler, they have blankets everywhere outside in the cafe so you yeah. can still sit outside, put them over your lap. And literally everywhere I look, there are like, there's warm textures and there's gorgeous blankets. And, but then there, it's, it's like basically like sitting in a cafe with you because there's the leather, oh. which is cool and sexy. <laughs> you make me cry. <laughs> no, it that's is. So, sweet. so that's you and a pillow. Um, <laughs> just stop there. Those of you who want Valentino, <laughs> just buy the pillow. Um, you gotta buy both. There's softness and a little bit of uh, grit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. 
Tag. function is actually, and this is one of the great things, this is a very large room and it's the center of our house. Every single room stretches off of it, so we really needed to create a room within a room. Yeah. So the seating area that was zone two is kind of that room within a room, but then we have to have pathways, and so these cabinets serve two functions. It creates kind of a secondary wall and pathway, but also for us, functionally, these things are full. Like all the kids' games, yes. all the stuff yeah. that we do I'll at dinner you. time. We've got, um... We do these question games every oops, single night. Yeah, last night we were doing the 80s questions, the 80s trivia. Which I killed, because I'm from then. I did, actually, and I was barely, I was, I was young. <laughs> was we got young. Uno and all that stuff is back here, so, um... And it's full of books, so it, it serves two functions. Yeah. A, it gives us somewhere, actually three functions. It creates this... It serves three functions, because it creates a hallway gives us somewhere to store stuff, and it gives you somewhere to actually make your mood board come alive. Yeah, because this really is, is, it's funny when you have spaces like this that would seem maybe a little bit awkward, right? That this is actually a part of the room, but it's also a walkway. So what we did is it's the backdrop to the sofa when you come from looking from the other side. So we've created this absolutely gorgeous area. I've pulled out some of my favorite books, you guys know I've been minimizing a ton in the house, so I've left the things that I really, really love, and I've brought in this beautiful piece of art. As I always talk about, having an investment piece in a space. This is mine. This is a very special piece to me. It's signed and it's limited edition. It's something that I bought while we were in Denmark and I, I brought it home and I paid it a lot of money to have it framed. And you guys ask me about art a lot of times and you're like, is this size gonna work? And it's like, no, you've gotta go big. And this oversized piece was a definite investment. We love these kind of signature pieces yeah. that anchor a space. For sure. And we've also brought in lighting in the space. We, if you remember, these lights actually used to be by the windows. And I just looked at them the other day and I was like, why did we put the lights there? <laughs> I think at some point there was furniture over there, but the lights got left behind. They're just like, hey. Instead, I decided let's make an, a really, really amazing secondary focal point in this room. We have the wow moment and then you have your secondary focal points that will fill your space. And we've been able to do that with the lighting and the yeah. art. And of course, I know that you, you're always like, do you really want me to go forge? <laughs> He's like, hey Jack, go forage. The real foraging box in this house is this guy. <laughs> because I sent him out with the clippers into the yard. Foraging silver fox, <laughs> probably what you're thinking. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually just went outside. This is what is blooming in our yard right now. It has these really cool berries on it. It's really pretty. And that's what, what I took away from our years in Scandinavia and really watching the way that people lived with the seasons in this very natural way. That was something that really just, it just touched somewhere deep in my soul. And it's something that I can't shake. It's something that I really love is that we, when you go outside and you bring something in, it's in season. It's whatever is actually blooming in the garden is what you bring in. So I went, I went everywhere, everywhere looking for a good fake, orange or yellow leaf that I could include in the room because I was like, oh, the mood board's got this fall look. I wanna make sure it feels like that. But the truth of the matter is, is that I just didn't like any of those. I just didn't like any of them. And when the leaves start to change, I will bring something in and the room actually moves with the seasons. And there's something, the way that you live, the con your connection yeah. to nature when you do that, it is amazing. It really is amazing. Well, especially in this room because we have massive windows and so seeing those two connected is just powerful. And it is, it's something that we learned overseas. It's something we saw because you couldn't go buy fake leaves. You couldn't go buy fake yeah, they didn't have it or any of that stuff. Yeah, and so, so people just forage and they'll come home and they've got a jar filled with 
uh, what are those things called? With like acorns. little rocks or acorns. Yeah, acorns because and... those are out. They didn't go to some store and bought, buy them. So this is just yeah. a different, different way of seeing it, but I love it. One other thing that I gotta show you before we leave this little area is that I always have extra blanket storage <laughs> just to get a surprise you. So many of you are asking the video, so what do you do with all these blankets you buy? I like to have a lot of blankets because if you have like nine on the sofa, it's going to look a little bit overwhelming. So I found this amazing blanket house. Yes. And it's made of like wire and oh, it's kind cool. of metal and it, it's so cool. I found this at Crate and Barrel. have this? I just, I just got this one. <laughs> Every time we do a video, I'm like, when did this come in the house? <laughs> um, yeah, so you can see I've got it loaded up with blankets and it's perfect to have some, just some extra storage. Sometimes those are the things that I, you guys tell me that you're kind of struggling with how to put it all together. So I just wanted to show you just a few of the ways that we were able to create this fall vibe in this space and I, I just absolutely love it. As you can tell, we're back on the sofa and ready to enjoy this space and do you think that we nailed it? Uh, it's perfect. Literally perfection. Aww. Absolutely love it. Thanks. I'm so glad. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. We sure do love when you guys come for a visit. We just absolutely love that we get to meet here and hang out and drink pumpkin spice lattes and chit chat about all the things that we love and get to share our home and to get to be a part of yours. So if you wanna see how this room develops over the seasons, go follow us on Instagram because I love to post pictures as we go and we'll see if something ends up on the fireplace. We'll see what ends up in that vase. And as we get closer to Halloween, I cannot say that, you know, there won't be some skulls that come in here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> if you saw in some of the shots, you may have already noticed our daughter has completely decked out her door for Halloween. If you can't find <laughs> Halloween stuff at your local stores because our daughter bought it and it's in her room right now. Yeah, that's so true. So it will so explode true. at some point into the rest of the house. Yeah, but. like I have some really cool skulls and stuff that I love and she's taken everything. So, um. <laughs> yeah. Well, we would love to see what you do as well. So over the next few days, weeks, whatever it is, as you transition one of your spaces to fall or to autumn, please jump over to Inspired by V on the Facebook group and let us show us a picture. Like just take a picture with your phone and say, here's my my autumn inspired room, that whatever it is you're doing, yeah. share it with us, we'd love to see it. Yeah, we'd love to see it. And if you decide to make a mood board, or that's something that you want help with, because you know, I obviously I love to make mood boards and create these amazing spaces. So if you need a little bit of help, we do have virtual services and we have in-person design services available. And we'll leave a link in the show notes to where you can find that. Go ahead and sign up for a session. Also, I'll leave the links for all the items that we featured in today's video. I know you guys ask a lot about paint colors and items that are here, and that's always down in the show notes for you. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely check down below, and I think that's it for today. I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Bye. Bye.